How's your sweet level going, guys? Sweet Cookie 500 here, and welcome back to another episode of Portal 2. When we last left off, Wheatley fucking died, and GLaDOS came back! So, we are about to go down into a testing facility again, and I lost the portal gun, and oh my god, there's just... There's too much to pack in, so, uh... Let's, uh... Let's just jump in, and let's just jump in and do what GLaDOS wants us to do. Kill her again, and escape. Oh, we're sliding now. Oh shit. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Okay, so Gladys wants me to find the first portal gun. Alright, because I'm a fucking dumbass. Oh. Actually, I'm wondering, should I put subtitles on? Yeah, I'll put subtitles back on. Portal gun. There it is. Hold on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. That's, uh, something plastic. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Yo, I didn't want to fucking talk to you. I killed you before, so stay fucking dead. There we go. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life were preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again. Forever. <laughs> you know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. <laughs> oh, uh, Gladys, uh... So I'm glad I just learned. Think of all the things we learned from the people who are still alive. Oh, heaven above. Anything up here? Nope. So here and here. Now where do I go? Woo! I forgot that was a thing. This facility has definitely seen better days. Fuck you, Gladys. Don't try to kill me now. Ah. 
I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you are back with me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. <laughs> okay, that's a very good fucking hobby for you. I'm not keeping calm. Uh, I'm not remaining calm. Don't you fucking wave at me, you little bitch. Oh, chill. What have we done? What have we gotten ourselves into? Oh, no. Oh, dear, dear, dear. The cold. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Still have Sarcasm self test complete. Oh, good. That's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. I've been locked in a room with deadly lasers before, Gladys. This isn't anything new. Well, maybe not these lasers specifically, but, uh... Oh. Damn it, we can't cheat. Okay. No, I was supposed to get on that. Eh. Fine. Stupid specific thing. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Oh, so working with lasers is like a normal thing for you guys? I wonder why so many of us are vegetables. We wanted to be dead. The cold boot. Is that like saying we're giving her the cold shoulder? This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Well, uh, let's go then. Find this cube. Oh, heaven alive. Oh, we incorporate jumping. Ah. <laughs> One and <laughs> never mind. Where are the cubes? Wait. What? Who the fuck was that? Oh my god, heaven above. Nope! I almost fucking died, and I need to stop jumping. If that was fucking Wheatley, I swear to god. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Well, I know I'm a fucking horrible person because of you! Who was that in the wall? That's what I want to know. Who was in the wall?
Because someone was in the wall. Yeah, I wasn't blind. You saw that as well. Someone was in that wall. But who? Hmm. That's a good question. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Okay. What's the... Let's chill with that, yeah. Fuck you, Gladys. Three. Anyone? Hmm? Anything? No? Okay. Wow, this place is a really big fucking mess. Oh, well, it tried to fix itself up. Nope! Gotta be a better way to do that. Oh, well, that works. Woohoo! One. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Well, fuck you, Gladys. <laughs> Do not talk about Shell's weight. You're not talking about my weight. Unless you want to talk about that fat metal ass of yours still lunking around in your little tiny room that's now flourished with flora. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Then build them faster, Gladys. You're a computer. I'm gonna make it through fast if I want to. My lady. Water! Woohoo! I'm gonna dive right in. Not. It's not companion cube, but it's close enough. What do you do? Uh, let's put you back here then. Mutton chops. There we go. Whoop the doop, can this? Yep. Whoop. Right, I have I'll to give you credit. credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. I wasn't going slowly for you, Gladys. Understand that I have waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. Okay, let's waddle. Waddle 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 waddle. I'm waddling. Want me to waddle. It's either me or I'm just going through these quickly. I hope to god it's the second one. Because I want to get through these quickly. I do not want to take the monstrosity length that was Portal 1 in completing these tasks. I'll take from you, Gladys. Surprise it. What? Oh, you 
Bitch, I was gonna use them. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. I feel like we're gonna be here a while. Gotcha! <laughs> they cannot do it, my ass, GLaDOS. Did you forget who I am? I am. Chell! Interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. It's pretty interesting, but I'll suffocate to death slowly. If you haven't realized that. They are definitely releasing some nice fresh gameplay into this. Like, that previous test we just did was so fucking cool. Let me just tell you that. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faceplates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. Thank you. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. That's a you problem, GLaDOS. That is not have anything to do with me. What? Well, I'm actually glad you're doing some housekeeping stuff. Okay, so... Well, time to drown. Yup. Because I did something wrong and I can't go back and do it again. <laughs> well, that was fun. Now, what do I have to do with this one? Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Thanks for that, Gladys. If one of them was Wheatley, I was gonna fucking scream. I'm gonna catch you, I'm gonna catch you, I'm gonna catch you! Haha! -ha! Caught you! I'm gonna get you over there! Dead! I'm not gonna make it. Fuck. Shit, 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 shit. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. I don't care if it's garbage or not. It's my garbage, okay? You threw it at me. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm oh. sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. That's what happens. Well, let me go. 
Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Well, it's, uh, kind of, subtitles kind of spoiled that for me, but... <laughs> you know. Fizzle that before you could complete the test. I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. First of all, fuck you, Gladys. <coughs> no, I fizzled that one too. Oh well, we have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. <gasps> That was Wheatley. I'm not crazy, that was Wheatley. Can I bring that thing back up here? Yes, I can. <laughs> Screw you, Gladys. You can't make me give my faithful companion cube up. Yoink. And I can't jump up there. Frick. Oh, there you are. And with my faithful companion cube. Woohoo! I love you, companion cube! But no, like, I swear to fucking god. Wheatley was fucking there. I saw him in the panels. Like. Is he dead or is he not? Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Okay, thanks to someone who's, uh, thanks to my sister who played through this game before me, uh... Yeah, fuck you, Gladys. I'm taking my companion cube with me. No! I think that one was about to say, I love you. And they are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. I'm fucking sad now. I wanted another Wheatley, okay? I'm either hallucinating that Wheatley is there, or he is fucking alive, or Chell is just hallucinating. I don't know, maybe both of us are hallucinating that he's alive? No quirking. This work. next test involves emancipation grills. Remember? I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Yeah, I know about the fucking emancipation. I wonder. What? Oh no. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. What the fuck did she say? I can't destroy that anymore. Fuck.
I'm a dumb bitch. Who's the dumb bitch? I'm the dumb bitch. On with the tour. Oh, yep, that's a demonstration of how this thing works. Oh, that's my fanboy companion, you. <laughs> We're already on chapter fucking three. Uh. I'm doing this chapter by chapter, so. I'm gonna end it. here. <laughs> Oh, my reflection! Hey, I'm a sexy motherfucker. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Oh, I made my mistake here. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> 